if you heard it, would you know it? Tonight, those sounds creeping ever closer to homes across the St. Louis region. News Force Kim St. Ange is looking into coyote concerns and just how bold the wild dogs are getting. So right now we're dead smack in the middle of downtown. Of course, not a place you would typically expect to see a coyote, but they're going where there's food. That's obvious, right? Well, they also like to hang out where there's water. So for example, the Mississippi River tonight, a local animal expert says the coyote population has doubled, if not tripled. This is the way they come up all through here. Just in the last month, some 10 coyotes have been caught outside Janet Freeman's Fairview Heights home. Well, it makes me afraid for our pets and afraid for us if they're stalking our neighborhood, especially we have small children in the area. It's not so much how many she's seeing, but how close they're getting to her home that has her worried. It seems like they're getting bolder. They're just coming out. They don't care if you see them or not. That's why she called Wildlife Command Center. Owner Michael Baran says it's coyote mating season. And with the cold temps we've seen lately, they're out looking for food. They go after stray cats. They go after small raccoons. They go after small dogs. And when I say small dogs, I mean 35 pounds and under. His company responded to about 28 coyote calls in 2020. They've done more than that just last month alone. His crews trapped eight near a home in East St. Louis. They come in, they step on it, and it snaps them like that. So it doesn't hurt at all. I'm going to take a picture of them. A man in Maryland Heights shared this video after he says coyotes took down a deer in his girlfriend's backyard. The population of animals is not increased more than it normally does. But what happens is more people, more eyes are seeing them more frequently because they're at home. And in rare cases, coyotes are so bold, they'll break into houses like this one. A West County woman discovered was in her basement for three days after getting into a fight with a neighbor's dog. Well, I've watch my surroundings, I keep an eye on my cat when I'm walking him on our property. Here's something else you should maybe think about tonight before you go to bed. Baran says that those coyotes are also attracted to your dog and your cat food. So if you have a bowl outside on your deck outside right now, he says, bring it in. You certainly do not want to attract those coyotes even closer to your home. Corey. Yeah, so Kim, we know the problem. What's the solution? I think a lot of people are asking that. So the Department of Conservation actually requires that those trapped coyotes be euthanized. And then you can hunt coyotes in Missouri, but you do need a permit to do so. All right, Kim St. Ange, live downtown for us tonight. Thank you.